you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance to chance, copper. kill a cop and it's the electric chair. Stay down. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. Why, you! Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! <laughs> Hold it right there! Stay.
Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Dunn! Watch your fire! I don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Stay the hell away from me! You've got to be kidding! You fucking asked for it! There's no way I'm going back inside! I've done my time! It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once! Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Come on in, pretty boy. How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight, a crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta, layaway receipt, pearl earrings, made out to Bank of Arcadia.
We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. All right, all right. Yes, you are. A dead Galleta. Clovis Galleta. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. don't know who shot Gage or why? No, officer. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I ought to take you downtown. Get out! Get out right now! Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you! FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run. We have the murder weapon? But no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on me. We could trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store's a couple blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Paying citizen, you just bounced off the fucking hood, Phelps. I hope they didn't get our number, Phelps. What did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? Have you got a death wish? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly so obsessed with bedside manner. Officers, what can I do you for? 
Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Callu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Get the way! Kalu! Get back here! Uh, waitress. Did I get another spoon? God damn! That broad has socks in it. Hurry! You can still catch him! Too late, Kalu! Heaven to Betsy! I survived the war for this. Ah, it's a strange, I'd barely graze him. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Kalu! Get back here! Too late, Kalu! What was that? <gasps> Why, never... Stop or I will shoot! Oh Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. 
But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Let's talk about the shooting. Do you deny shooting Everett Gage? I'm a businessman. I, I run a jewelry store. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure my lawyer can clear all this up. You deny owning a Browning pistol, serial number 01138. I owned a gun, yes, but, but, but it was stolen in a burglary a couple years ago. You can't prove I used my gun on Gage. You had the gun cleaned and bought a new box of ammunition. The store owner remembers you and where you were. Is that so? It's amazing what the nebishes will recall when it suits them. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy putt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first-degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. 